Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about erythropoiesis. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So erythropoiesis is the procedure to produce red blood cells from hematopoietic stem cells. We can see some sites of erythropoiesis. First is mesoblastic stage. So the first trimester of fetus in this stage erythropoiesis occurs in embryonic yolk sac. Next is hepatic stage. This is the second trimester of fetus. At that time erythropoiesis occurs in liver. Next is myeloid stage. From 7 months of fetus to newborn. At that time, erythropoiesis occurs in bone marrow. Newborn to 20 years, erythropoiesis occurs in long and flat bones. After 20 years, it occurs in ribs, vertebrae, scapula, sternum, skull bones and end of long bones. Let's talk about some stages of erythropoiesis. First is proerythroblast. It is also called megaloblast. Size of the cell 14 to 19 micrometer. Shape round. Nucleus present. Nucleolus present. Hemoglobin absent. And this is basophilic. Next is early normoblast. It is also called basophilic erythroblast. The size of the cell 12 to 17 micrometer, little bit smaller than proerythroblast, shape round, nucleus present, nucleolus disappears, hemoglobin absent. Condensation of the chromatin network begins in this cell. Next is intermediate normoblast. It is also called polychromatophilic erythroblast. Size 12 to 15 micrometer, little bit smaller than the previous one. Shape round, nucleus present, nucleolus absent, hemoglobin begins to appear in this stage. Chromatin network condenses further. It takes both basic and acidic stain. Basic stain is due to ribosome and acidic stain is due to hemoglobin. Next is Late normoblast, it is also called orthochromatophilic erythroblast. Size of the cell 8 to 12 micrometer, little bit smaller than intermediate normoblast. The shape is round, nucleus begins to disintegrate, nucleolus absent, hemoglobin increases and it takes acidic stain. Next is reticulocyte. Size 7 to 10 micrometer, little bit smaller than late normoblast. Shape is round, nucleus disappears, nucleolus absent, hemoglobin large amount. And RNA is still present in the cell. Next is erythrocyte or RBC, red blood cell. Size 7 to 8 micrometer, smaller than the previous one reticulocyte. The shape is biconcave. Nucleus absent, nucleolus absent, hemoglobin large amount. RNA is lost in this cell. Now we will see some regulations of erythropoiesis. So there are some hormones like growth hormone GH, adrenocorticotrophic hormone ACTH, thyroid hormone, testosterone. These hormones actually stimulate another hormone that is erythropoietin, EPO. And erythropoietin stimulates the erythropoiesis process. Certain hormones like glucocorticoids, estrogen, they inhibit erythropoietin hormone. That means the erythropoiesis is inhibited in this case. Next is hypoxia. That is the condition when deficiency of oxygen occurs. In that case, the hormone erythropoietin is stimulated and obviously 
this hormone stimulates the process of erythropoiesis. Vitamins and other factors. Some vitamins like vitamin B12, folic acid, vitamin B6, vitamin C, iron, zinc, cobalt. These factors stimulate the erythropoiesis process. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.